it's mid-April and I'm hunting with my good buddy Austin Branscombe. We had just gotten a turkey to answer our crow call and we made a big loop and got in the same tree belt as this turkey was in so we could get set up on him. So to explain what's going on here, there's a creek just to the right of where we were sitting and out of nowhere this hen flew this creek and landed right beside us. I couldn't move the camera to get it on her but she's just standing there clucking and looking for us. She eventually walks over to where the gobbler is and we don't hear from her or the gobbler again. So once we realized the first setup wasn't going to work, we started thinking about what the next move should be. We were right up next to a food plot that Austin just so happened to have a camera in. So we checked that camera on my phone and saw that a gobbler had been in that food plot pretty frequently as of lately. So we decided to put a couple decoys out in the food plot and set up there and see what happened. And it didn't take long.
Hey, Kia. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. That's what I'm talking about. My foot's asleep. All right, well, it's April 11th, and we're down here at old Boxby in uh, Wynola, Mississippi, and uh, out here at Austin's place. And um, we got out here this morning, or we stayed at the cabin, and um, came out this morning and uh, went to a different spot, or a couple different spots, actually. And we heard a couple birds, but we couldn't really do anything with them. And uh, we came to this spot, uh, I guess, what time? Uh, we got here probably around 11 o'clock. Yeah. And probably it's 10 30, 11. Yeah, it's like 12. I think it was 12 30 after we shot. So, but you can tell them what happened. Well, uh, earlier this morning, my dad came to this spot. He got on this bird, kind of hung up with uh, some hens, like in the same spot all morning. He, uh, he was in one spot for about seven till pretty much till about after we shot. He stayed there for about seven till 11.30. And we came in here and he was kind of across the creek on the ditch. And we came in here and got him to gobble a couple of times, got on his side and kind of started sneaking the way down to him. Got set up on him and got him to gobble. And he's probably about a hundred yards and sat there for a minute. And before we know, we look up and here comes a hen flying across, flies across the creek lands by us and then she kind of goes to kind of stays there for a little while and then he gobbles and then she flies all the way back over to him and then he just shuts up and doesn't say anything else for a long time so we just kind of got to figuring out what we should do just because he was hand up then we started checking one of my cameras on the food plot and saw he was kind of coming in here so we're like we ought to just like step back across the other side of the food plot set up some decoys and just sit here and see what happens and before we know, we sitting there for a couple, I mean, we're sitting there for what? 15, 30 minutes, maybe? Maybe we're, the whole setup, probably 30 minutes. Yeah. I don't even know. I mean, we maybe, maybe 15 there. minutes by, we by the time turkeys walked out. In we here. might've been there 15 minutes. And before we know, I thought I saw one strutting coming through the woods. And then about that time, here comes a hen out. Here comes another hen. And then still hadn't seen him, or so he had still hadn't came out yet. And here he comes strutting out in the food plot. And, Stays out there for a while, just kind of pecking around, doesn't give our decoys any attention. And then Ben kind of calls, and he kind of perks up a little bit, and then kind of starts pecking his way down the edge. And then he kind of gets in the woods, he starts kind of going like he's just going to skirt the outside of us and leave us. And uh, he's kind of, while he's skirting and gets by even with the decoys, Ben calls, and he hammers it right there and turns and spins and starts strutting and checking out the decoys. And before you know it, here he comes, just strutting all the way in, uh, all the way in, gets right beside the decoy strutting around, kind of sticks his head up a little bit and we want on him, put him on the ground. <laughs> folded so, him. So, folded him. So, it's been a tough season, but it's always fun to get one on the ground. So, number one on the season, hoping for number two soon. Man, that's what you call a banger of a hunt right there. <laughs> yeah.